Hello, I'm Kainton the Tech Pro, and today we are going to start our lesson on Link to XML. <coughs> what are we going to cover? We are going to cover nine different lectures or lessons that are really going to be very easy and they are going to be practical. So let's start with the first one that says how to read XML using Link to XML with X elements. We are going to be working on this tutorial with C Sharp. And also, the application I'm using is Visual Studio 2013. You can also use another version. It works perfectly. So just go ahead to open Visual Studio. I, I promise you this tutorial is really going to be very, very easy. So if you open Visual Studio, let's create a new project where we are going to read XML file into our project. So as we create a new project, let's use Visual C uh, Sharp because this will be based on C Sharp and let's just call it link link uh, link to XML. So that is the name of the file of the project. So after now I'm going to import three XML files. These files I'm using in this project, you can have them. Uh, just uh, leave a comment telling me you need them and I can just um, send them directly to your email box. So now we've opened a new project. So what you are going to do, just go on to this site and then right click on the project and let's import the XML file. So right click and just say add, add existing items and go to where you saved the XML files. For me, I have them in XML files. I have, just go ahead to this place and change to all files. So I have about four XML files out there. So just import them. So you can see they are imported to the solution. If you open one of them, we can see that it contains list of books. So we have catalog is the root node, as you can see, because XML files is made up of a root node and several nodes. So catalog is the root node. Then inside we have books, book, book, it repeats just like that. So how do we import this data into our program? Now, before you are going to use link to XML, make sure that you have using system.link. Let me increase this a little. Okay, that is fine. Also, put another using uh, statement using system.xml okay using system.xml and also put using system.xml.link so now very uh, easily we can import this xml file into our program so how to do it is simply to declare a new element you declare a new XML element, declare a new X element. So you simply say an X element is of type I enumerable, okay? So because X element represents several uh, items inside the X element file. So just say I enumerable of type X element, okay, let me call it books, equals X element dot load, then here you specify the name of the file you want to use. For me, we want to use books.xml. So at this point, 
okay we have to use excel s excel i enumerable x elements books is equal to why is it giving us so okay okay so so okay so this is the first line this is how to import it now you now need to put all the elements into a collection i enumerable books okay i enumerable of x elements books equal to x element of elements so at this point we have imported with these two lines we've imported these books into our program so how do we now display it of course you know that this is a collection type so you can just look through the books and just display it so you can just say for each uh, book in books okay for each book in books so you can just let's uh, display to the output console dot right line just say a uh, book if you would like to understand what is going on here so we are trying to look through the books because this is a collection of books and for each book in books we simply write to the output okay so let's just put console.read line here so that the window remains open can also use uh, console.read so at this point if we run the program we expect to have a display list of books okay so wow okay this problem is coming from is saying could not find the file okay meanwhile the file is right there how to solve this problem is simply to right click on the XML file, go to properties, in the build action, in the build action, set it to, set it to, sorry, in the copy to output directory, set it to copy always, okay? So let's run the program now, start, run. So you can see that it displays all the books. So assuming we want to add just a separator for each of the books, so you can just at this point you can say console dot right line and let's just add a separator. Let's say this is a separator we want to use after each of the line. So at this point we can just go ahead to start. And so for each book it adds a separator as you can see. So this is how to display XML file using uh, X element. So at this point, we've com completed the tutorial one: how to use a li XML to link to display an XML file using X element. So the next tutorial will be using X document. So I want you to subscribe to this channel. Click on the subscribe button down below to subscribe so that you get notified when I make uh, the next. Nice lessons. I would like to thank you for viewing.